Dark RPG is an amazing RPG style Minecraft mod pack with, as it says, Quest, Magic, the Origins mod, and it's actually built up to work on servers and can be kind of played as an MMO as well. It's really, really cool. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it and start playing Dark RPG. We're even going to show you quickly where you can get a server. So first things first, you will need to get CurseForge. To download the CurseForge launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. Forge. It goes over everything you need to know. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that, this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the download CurseForge button here to go to CurseForge's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click download standalone, and when you do, you may need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do that. While this is downloading, how to mess from our company, Simple Game Hosting. You can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ says SGH and start your very own dark RPG server and start playing the dark RPG mod pack with your friends in just a few minutes. It's super quick and easy to get dark RPG set up and once it's set up you can just join it like any other Minecraft server once you've got dark RPG installed using this video. Plus if you want to add any other mods, plugins, mod packs and customize your server any way that you want you can do that at Simple Game Hosting and there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here. As you can see it is for me. And then once you found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports my creators, which is amazing. Love to see that and some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. Once things are set up, you'll land here. This is your My Mod Packs tab, and at the top, you can search for Dark RPG. When you do, you may need to scroll because there are a few specific Dark RPG mods. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to get Dark RPG Fabric because it's by far the most popular and common Dark RPG pack. But there is a Forge version as well if you would rather use that. But again, we're going to be using Fabric here. So just hover over this and click the Install button on it. If you wanted to install the other versions of Dark RPG, you could do that by clicking Install on them here. Nevertheless, once Dark RPG is installed, you can go back to the My Mod Packs tab and be able to play it. You may need to add more RAM to Dark RPG. This can be done in Curse Wars by clicking on Settings, coming over here on the left-hand side to Minecraft, and scrolling down. Dark RPG usually needs around 8, 6 to 8 gigabytes of RAM locally in order to play. However, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to 10,000 megabytes, which is 10 gigabytes, because why not? I've got the RAM for it, and so I might as well do that. Once it is finished installing, we will be able to play Minecraft with Dark RPG by hovering over Dark RPG here in the My Mod Packs tab and clicking Play. Then, once you've done that, the Minecraft launcher will open. You may need to log into the Minecraft launcher, and that's perfectly okay because this is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally use when you play Minecraft, so just log into it like you normally would. And then click on Java Edition on the left-hand side here, and make sure Dark RPG is selected. It most likely is by default. And then click Play, and click Play again to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft. Now, Minecraft's going to open up with the Dark RPG mod pack installed, and it's that easy to get Dark RPG up and running. Now, I went ahead and in the background set up a simple game hosting server running Dark RPG, and we can go ahead and join that once Minecraft is open with this mod pack installed. Here we are, we're in Minecraft with Dark RPG. I go to multiplayer, and I'm going to head and set up in the background, like I said, this simple game hosting server with Dark RPG, and we can go ahead and jump right on into it. And what's really cool, it loads right up, and it's summoning a Dark Mage, and you actually kind of get to see some of the cool features, right, that happen whenever you join in, and you can select your origin here. There's tons of different, you know, things to read up on here, different 
things to learn, but we're just going to go ahead and select just some random stuff because, well, might as well, right? So we're just going to go ahead and do that through all of this, and here we are. We are now in Dark RPG on a simple game hosting server. Truly amazing how cool this mod pack is. Um, I honestly don't know a ton about like actually playing it, and I think I would love it once I got into actually playing this mod pack. So there you have it. That's how you can get Dark RPG and start playing. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.